I'm an amateur that spends a lot of time uh, hanging out down at Starbase. Uh, I do a lot of observation, though, and I have some thoughts on what the SN26 is doing at the launch site. Right now, the SN26 is sitting by itself at the launch site. It's a extremely stripped down version, missing tile and fins, which interestingly, as Elon would say, no part is the best part, makes this rocket maybe as much as 25% lighter if you consider the eight pounds of fuel it takes for every pound of mass to reach orbit. One thing I have noticed that it's setting at the launch pad, the Starship 24, which is surely outdated by now, is setting safely at the production site, and the S25, which is probably the rocket that I would suspect would be the best to make this grandiose orbital, is out at Macy's gun range, which is extremely good safe place for it. Now, we look at this as the orbital flight, but to me really it's not. This is a testing of a booster rocket, the first testing. The most important thing is that gets off the ground and reaches orbit. What happens after that is irrelevant. We know the Starship can make that orbit. So, I think we're looking at too big a picture. The picture is can the booster lift the Starship? And would it be smart on the first flight to lighten the load to make it easier? I think so.